everybody today traveling vibe i find myself at woolish area as you can see right there that is woolish Arsenal station in london this is zone 4 area as you can see right there that is the bus station i'm gonna walk you down up to the other side I'll show you around, show you around how this area actually looks right. As you can see over there, we can see a lot of people waiting for the bus. That is the major um, bus station. And you can pick up a lot of buses from this area. Right there. And you have another bus station opposite that, opposite that station. And here, on your right hand side, is a massive, a massive park whereby you can pop in straight away and then have some rest. If you, if you actually wanted to have some, some rest here, take a look at the park. Look at how massive it is the park. Uh, as of now, it's not, um, it's not quite full because here, is, here, we used to have a lot of people sitting down here. But today, we don't actually have a lot of people sitting down because of the weather. It's sunny, but the weather, you still need your jacket in order for you to be able to actually enjoy the, the sun a little bit. You can actually grab some snacks and sit down just like what this gentleman is doing and you can enjoy the big screen TV which is right in front in front of uh, in front of you yeah and here on the other side you have this massive white building where you can actually pop in and have some coffee you also have a uh, Starbucks coffee just beside it it's called coffee long but normally they serve you Starbucks coffee inside and uh, if you decided to walk down toward this area let's let me let me show you real quick how this place actually look like so that you know what Woolish Arsenal station area actually look like there's a lot of buses going up and down from here you can actually grab a bus let's say for example you don't have enough money to take the train to go to the city you can grab a bus from here and a bus can take you to different locations which is quite good and it will save you let's save you some 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 money because uk is not when it comes to transportation it's not as as cheap as, as it could be when you compare it to other part of european cities so yeah and right down that way you have a uh, some African food uh, restaurant on your, on your left hand side here as you can see here you have uh, the great area here you can grab coffee for 99p to I don't know maybe the price has gone up now due to the inflation that we having right now because everything has gone up due to the due to the inflation that we are experiencing all over the world so let's let me show you real quick where you can let's say if you if from if you're from africa and you need some african food where you can quickly get them if you come to woolish area let me show you real quick uh yeah you just right there let me walk you down there so that you can actually see how it actually look like okay you also have kfc opposite the opposite opposite the store basically uh, which i'm going to show you real quick right now so you have tasty here look you're looking for fresh fish and uh, you're looking for fresh stuff. and you got a lot of people inside there and opposite 
it, opposite of Tasty, just right in front of you over there across the road, you have KFC. And uh, yeah, you have some uh, air dressing salon right here where you can actually make yourself look good. And uh, yeah, and you have some, also, you have some uh, fast food restaurants here. We take care of all the yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the other side quick, really quick. Okay guys, on this on this side, if you walk down towards this road, what you're going to see is a different things. Uh, you have here where people play pet game. And uh, while I'm walking down, I have the park on my right hand side and some shops on my left hand side. Okay guys, here if you need African African cosmetics such, such as creams and all the soft air, whatever you need, you get them from this shop. You also got nice pharmacy here. And here, if you need any kind of African African food such as yams, uh, you can see them, cassava, tomato, you have fresh fish. And you can get them from this shop. And just like I said, uh, you can see nail shops right there. And you have a little bunch of things that you can get from all these shops. A lot of things, especially if you need yams, uh, you need uh, you need banana. Look at what is selling. Nice stuff, fresh, fresh, fresh stuff right here. And the park is still located on my right hand side. And a lot of people are here uh, because the weather is not that cold today. So a lot of people are actually outside having 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 fun a little bit, not too much fun. Maybe doing shopping and uh, walking around. Okay, guys, this is uh, this is Power Street basically. This is the beginning of the street. Uh, this is where a lot of people come to to do the shopping on a daily basis. Daily basis. And uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what's the. Someone is talking to me over there. They're trying to tell me where to go. This is called Power Street. Uh, you can see a lot of people actually doing their, their, their shopping. And this area, you can see there's a lot of diversity of people from various culture and background. And uh, this is one of the things that make a uh, Woolish area, especially Power Street, to look completely different. You see different people, different color, white, black, purple, everybody are doing the shopping. And in this particular street, wow, you have, you have the banks right there, Northwest. Optician, if you want to, if you have any sort of, if you want to put your glasses into 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 shape, you also have Halifax, and you have uh, different different shops right here. Actually, when you visit Power Street in Woolwich, you're going to see a lot of variety of things to do, and if you want to solve any kind of uh, banking problem, you can also do that here, which is actually okay, and yeah. You also have all this, you see, let's have a look at this uh, Mimi shop, look at what it's selling. If you come here, you want to have some nice clothes, you can also do it from here. Uh, yeah, Lloyd's Bank is also here. As you can see, we have a lot, a lot on this street. This street is actually packed with a lot of shops where you can actually do your shopping. Yeah. So as you can see right there, everyone is doing their shopping. Everybody is walking around, which is actually good. So this is how Power Street Woolish area actually look like. If you wanted to visit, maybe you just passing by or you just you just moved down to Woolish. Power Street is a street that you can actually come and do your shopping. And uh, yeah, you can also get things done, such as taking care of yourself and stuff like that. I'm trying to see if I can speak, talk to some locals here. What are the pros and cons of this area? What is uh, what are the things that they actually enjoy here? What are the things that they don't like? Let's see if anyone is are willing to talk to 
to talk to Traveling Vibes because it's very important to actually get some perspective from the locals what they actually feel like oh my god there's JD also here guys if you wanted to get some nice trainers uh, yeah yeah if you want to get some nice trainers here you go JD's right here which is yeah guys just to let you know we come to Power Street you also have JD here and uh, we also have Nando's in the street uh, yeah Nando's pharmacy and you also have McDonald's just right there guys if you don't want to spend a lot of money McDonald's is no longer a cheap restaurant it's actually expensive right now oh this is this is this is wonderful look at Cape School work, workspace venue okay guys if you're a student and you wanted to like uh, come out with your laptop and work at the coffee shop you can actually do it right there you can do it just right here guys so let me let me get some let me get some 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 perspective of the locals what they actually enjoy about poor street what they don't actually enjoy let me see who i can talk to if i can talk to someone right here hi bro hi bro you have one just 30 seconds i know 30 seconds yeah okay guys let's keep walking you have greg as well right here look at there's a lot of people in there uh, let me see uh, okay let's let's keep walking let's just keep walking let's keep walking keep walking let's keep walking down actually there's a lot of people here this street is packed this street is packed wow that's one that's that's good Hey, bro, do you have 30 seconds? I've already got to go. I'm so okay, sorry. it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Everyone is busy in this area. No one wants to talk to, to me. Anyway, I'm just going to keep walking down that way. Let's see what we can get. Hi, bro, you got 30 seconds? Just 30 seconds, bro. 30. I won't go more than 30. Sorry about that. Okay. Ah, okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. Let's see who wants talk to, to me uh, i just want to get some local perspective about this area let's see what they what they have to say i think everyone is uh is no how you doing sir you. yeah you got 30 seconds sir just 30 seconds ah okay how are you doing sir i'm okay yourself i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm just doing some uh yeah <laughs> thank you Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get someone's perspective about this area. Okay, guys. Before I move around, as you can see down that way, you also have the the I mean the traditional Lidu stores just right around the corner. So you have a lot of things around this area. If you actually come to Woolish, you have a lot of things to 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 to, to do. You can do a lot of things. How you doing, bro? You okay? I just need your perspective. What the, what are the pros and cons of uh, of this area that you think you need to this area? Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. So guys, I'm just walking you through for you to show you how this area actually look like. So whenever you come, this is what you're gonna get. It's a I don't know. We still need to try to grab some locals perspective and uh, let's see what they got to tell us about this area yeah this is uh so let's go this way let's see what we can But even me, bro, I've got a trim. It's, 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 it's alright. All you can do for everyday class thing, man. 
Um, oh, oh, right, I ain't got shit, no shape up, man. It's only 30 seconds, it won't take loads. Okay, 2-1. Now, I've got 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 2-1. Your pros, okay, my pros and cons of this. Okay, guys, oh, I'm gonna, okay, your pros and cons about this poetry. Bro, you put me on the in, spot, bro. In two words. I'm saying, I'm saying. Um, I, don't, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, give me your pro. My pro? Yeah. Um, there's a station there, there's a good location. Okay. There's shops here, so it's like, it's bad, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, cons, um, I don't know, it could look nice, I guess. There could be um, newer builds, yeah, that's me. Okay, that's thank me. you, thank you. Okay, what are your pros and cons uh, as to why do you like or why do you often come to Port Street? Well, we, we like the shops, uh, we like there's no cars, a lot of people wandering around, and it's very multicultural, so we like that. Okay, and um, what are the cons? Are there any calls? Oh, the, the shop's closed too early. Oh, the yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing, I think. Okay. okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank, thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to see what is actually going on here. Is this? It's a, you need to be forgiven. Now the thing is this: some people say, "Listen, Steve, that's my name. What if, um, what if I put in some good stuff? Yeah, it's quite scary. Let's get in closer. <laughs> <laughs> what if we do some good stuff? Yeah, I'll give a bit to charity. Yeah? That's a good thing. Have you ever done that? Yeah, yeah. Of course you have. Guys, I don't know what he's no, doing. Let's keep road. watching. Even if she don't want to go, man, you've got to help somebody, haven't you? But the thing is, is you find yourself. And I hope you do do that. Be kind to someone today, because I might be kind to you tomorrow. It affects the future. That's really important, isn't it? But the thing is this, how do we take away the wrong things in our lives? However much good stuff in here we do, This is like a mini marketplace. If you are looking for vegetable, you can actually get them from this so-called mini English marketplace. Whereby you can go take a look at all of that. Look at, look at things that you can get here. You can come here in, on Saturday morning. You can actually do that. Yeah, this is this is like a mini a mini market and where people come to get things at a cheaper and affordable rate yes i see you can also get clothing from here uh, yeah wristwatch this is this area look like a mini mini market yes you can get different things here, even cooking pots, you can also get them from here. That's what will make it to, to, to look good. And this is one part of Woolish. This is, a, this is one part of Woolish area. You also have another area on the other side, which is uh, we're gonna go to in a minute. Yeah, you can see guys, this is the, this is the mini supermarket, mini market in Woolish. Here, most of the things that you're gonna get here is gonna be less cheaper. I'm not saying that they are authentic when it comes to wristwatch, clothing, stuff like that, but at least they can also serve you for, for a while. Okay, okay, so I'm with um, Akira and Akina. So, okay, nice meeting both of you guys. As you can see, these two beautiful ladies they're going to tell us why they come to Woolwich, what are the reasons, what are the pros and cons and all the things like anything that they feel like they wanted to tell the old world. Yeah, so let's start with you. What 
are the what are the what are the pros regarding Woolish in general that you think like you can tell us? And what are your cons that you can tell the whole world? Okay, uh, thank you for your contribution and um, yeah, thank you very much. So take a look at, take a look at this, look at how different, take a look at this area, these buildings, right guys, and um, take a look at this. Take a look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. And why is that? I think the, the, local, the local government is trying to build a new Woolish. And maybe, maybe in the future, they might decide to change the view of this area. Make it because... <laughs> I don't know why they maybe they kept these for a reason because there's a look a lot of local stores right here and you still have tasty shops here opposite Barclays in case if you don't know you have Barclays Bank right there you have Sainsbury over here and uh, yes you have different shops here whereby when you visit you can check them out by yourself Yeah, so guys, I'm just showing you guys so that you have the, the understanding of how Woolish area, I mean, this area is very, very close to the bus, to the bus and train station. Woolish has station, this is very, very close to it. So you have everything that you need around here, everything. Okay guys, this is another, this is a very nice uh, hairdressing and baby salon in Woolish. If you want to cut your hair and you want to look good, you want to look good for your girlfriend, boyfriend, your... If you want to look good for any kind of occasion, and uh, you can just visit uh, Mr. Shino's shop and this beautiful lady's shop just to make yourself look good for the weekend. And this shop is located in Woolish, guys, so make sure you check them out when you come to Woolish to come and do your hair. And uh, this is Mr. Shino right there. This, this guy will give you a very nice haircut. I will make you look like, uh, make you look like James Bond. And if you want to look like uh, Beyonce, you have this beautiful lady right there. They will make sure you look good for the weekend, okay? So, guys, make sure you check them out if you come to Woolish, okay? What's your name? I'm Blessing. Blessing. So, can you tell us what you do actually here? Yeah, I make hair, dreadlocks, braids, all any type of hair style. Okay. Is he is he affordable or too expensive? No, it's affordable. Affordable. Okay, guys. As you can hear from Blessing right there, if you wanted to do your hair, you come to Woolish. This is where you need to come. You're gonna get the best out of the best. This is, I mean, good for money. So whenever you come to Woolish, make sure you check them out and uh, make sure you visit and make sure you, I mean. Give them a call if you want to book in and uh, they can actually make you look good. So let me go to the other side of the area. There's another shop right here, which you can also do what? Make use of. If you want to, as you can see right there, this is another place that you can actually go to, to do your hair. Uh, if you want to really, really look good. This is another salon right there. That's coming. Let's come in. Hello, everybody. Hello. Guys, have a look. If you come to Woolish, this is another salon in the same area where you can make yourself look good. Good for money. It's not too expensive. I'm telling you, these ladies, they're going to make you look like Beyonce. Even more than Beyonce, with they're going to make. All this style hair. With uh, the best braid, with your dreadlocks, with your whatever you want. On a reasonable price. Very good. 
And uh, what's your name so that people wanted to come? My name is Rachel. Your business name? My business name is Rachel's Hair. Okay. Guys, so if you come to Woolies, please look for Rachel Hair. Uh, uh, and she's going to make you look good more than if what you, you ever... My telephone number is 07 447-69059 Guys, you have it right there. If you want to check her out, just dial that number. Do you want to give us that number again? So that people... 7 0509 Very good. So guys, please check her out. Whenever you come to Woolwich, if you want to make your wife, your girlfriend, your your ex-girlfriend, your, your daughter, even you as a guy, if you want to do con roll, you want to glow, glow, whatever you wanted to do, Ma'am, we can definitely glam you up as a guy, as a lady. Guys, so here we go. Please check her out, okay? So uh, I'm going to also show you how to get in into this building. Sh into this building. So I'm going to go out and show you exactly where this building is actually located. Okay, guys. So let's let's go. Okay guys, like as I was saying before, this is the entrance to the Rachel's uh, hairdressing salon. Soon as you come to Woolish, right down there, right down over there, that is the Woolish Arsenal station. So if you come down, soon as you, you post yourself out from the station, all you have to do is just walk straight down, walk straight down, up to the door, and then you can just walk in. Uh, all you have to do is just walk yourself down this way walk yourself down this way turn to your left right here you turn to your left use the stair and the shop is at the top right there okay guys so that is it so guys please make sure you check uh richard out and the other salon to make yourself look good and pretty uh yeah so that is it so if you like this video please uh, give it a, a a thumbs up and uh, if you want anything else to hard up into it, please do guys. So thank you very much and bye for now.